Based in Southern California, Archer Neon Sign has been producing neon and LED signs for businesses, homes, and events since 1993. All of their signs are manufactured in the United States and are made of quality materials that are built to last. During its almost three decades of business, Archer Neon Sign has produced hundreds of thousands of signs and continues to manufacture thousands of signs per year. Neon signs are made of glass tubes bent into various letters and shapes that are then filled with inert gas. When an electric current is applied to the electrodes at the end of the tubes, electrons flow through the gas exciting the atoms and causing them to emit photons and light up. When neon gas is pumped into a clear glass tube, a brilliant red glow is produced. Additional colors can be created by using glass tubes coated with different fluorescent powders. The neon manufacturing process first begins with a design that is printed out onto a large sheet of paper. A heat-resistant bronze net is then laid over the paper to protect it from catching on fire. After that, a worker examines the design and selects the correct glass tubes based on the illustration. The glass is then cut to length using a flat hand file and a rubber tube is attached to the end of the glass. Following the design, lines are drawn on the glass tubes to mark where they have been bent. Using a propane ribbon burner and a crossfire burner, the marked spots on the tubes are then heated up, softening the glass enough to be bent. While heating up the tube, the worker blows a constant flow of air into the gas through the rubber tube in order to preserve its original diameter. After each bend, the shape of the tube is checked against the illustration and adjustments are made if necessary. Once the glass tube is bent to the correct shape, the worker cuts off the excess glass tubing and rubs the fluorescent powder off the ends. Using a specialized hand torch, glass casings containing electrodes are then fused onto each end of the glass tube. The worker then seals the end of the, one of the electrodes while leaving the other one open. After having fused the electrodes, the sign is then sent to the pumping station where another worker begins the pumping process. At the pumping station, the end of the open electrode is fused to another glass tube, leading to the pumping system. The system then vacuums out the air inside the tube and fills it with either neon or argon gas. At the same time, electric currents are shot through the glass tube, helping to remove any unwanted residue and contaminants. Once the pumping process is over, the worker uses a hand torch to seal off the open electrode and sends it to the dipping station. At the dipping station, another worker dips the back of the sign into a small vat of black paint. This both hides the electrical components and the unnecessary parts of the sign and helps to pop out the shape or lettering. The worker then leaves the sign on a drying rack until the paint eventually dries up. After the paint is dried, the sign is then sent to the assembly station where another worker assembles the sign. At the packaging station, another worker cuts up the pieces of foam and puts them in a box surrounding the neon sign to protect it from damage during the shipping and handling process. The box is then closed and sealed with packaging tape. After the packaging process is finished, the neon signs are ready to be shipped and delivered to customers nationwide in the United States and Canada.